Ever wondered about the life of the man who redefined irrational numbers? Well, let's delve into the early life of Richard Dedekind. Born on the 6th of October, 1831, in the Duchy of Braunschweig, now known as Germany, Richard Dedekind was brought up in an intellectual environment. His father, a professor at the Collegium Carolinum, and his mother, the daughter of another professor, surely played a role in shaping the young mind of Dedekind. As the youngest of four children, he shared a close bond with his siblings, particularly one of his sisters, with whom he lived for most of his adult life. From the tender age of seven, Dedekind attended school in Brunswick. At this stage, however, mathematics was not his main interest. Instead, he found himself drawn towards the sciences, particularly physics and chemistry, at his school, the Martino Catharinium. But as he delved deeper into physics, he found himself dissatisfied with what he considered its imprecise logical structure. This dissatisfaction steered his academic interest towards mathematics. Upon entering the Collegium Carolinum in 1848 at the age of 16, Dedekind was introduced to foundational mathematical concepts. Here he studied differential and integral calculus, analytic geometry, and the foundations of analysis, providing him with a solid grounding in mathematics. In the spring of 1850, Dedekind took his mathematical foundation to the University of Göttingen. While it wasn't quite the vibrant research hub it would soon become, it was here that Dedekind had his first taste of advanced mathematics, particularly number theory. Despite the university's focus on elementary mathematics, Dedekind found himself captivated by a course on experimental physics taught by Wilhelm Weber. Perhaps it was Weber's passion that ignited Dedekind's enthusiasm, sparking a lifelong journey into the world of numbers and equations. And so, young Dedekind, initially fascinated by the physical world, slowly turned his gaze towards the world of numbers and equations. Now let's turn the pages to Dedekind's university years, where his passion for mathematics deepened. At the tender age of 16, Dedekind entered the Collegium Carolinum in 1848. This institution, a bridge between high school and university, provided him with a solid grounding in mathematics. He studied differential and integral calculus, analytic geometry, and the foundations of analysis. A couple of years later, in the spring of 1850, Dedekind transferred to the University of Göttingen. At that time, Göttingen was not exactly a hub for mathematical research. Despite this, Dedekind was able to engage in the study of number theory, a field that was considered advanced for the time. He also continued his studies in differential and integral calculus, building on the knowledge he had acquired at the Collegium Carolinum. Interestingly, the course that sparked Dedekind's enthusiasm was not a mathematics course at all, but one on experimental physics. This was taught by Wilhelm Weber, a renowned physicist who was known for his contributions to the field of electrodynamics. There's something intriguing about this, isn't there? A mathematics enthusiast finding inspiration in a course on experimental physics. It's likely that it was Weber's teaching style and passion that ignited Dedekind's enthusiasm rather than the subject matter itself. In addition to his formal courses, Dedekind participated in a seminar initiated by the Physics and Mathematics Departments of Göttingen. This seminar brought together the brightest minds in both fields, providing an interactive platform for learning and discussion. Dedekind's participation in this seminar was a testament to his commitment to his studies and his eagerness to learn. So, even though Göttingen was not the most stimulating place for a budding mathematician, Dedekind found his stride. He persevered, taking advantage of the opportunities that came his way, and began to see the beauty in mathematics. Thus, despite the limitations of Göttingen, Dedekind found inspiration and began to see the beauty in mathematics. In the autumn term of 1850, Dedekind's mathematical journey took an exciting turn when he attended his first course given by Gauss. A course on least squares, it was here that Dedekind's admiration for Gauss began to grow. He was captivated by the elegance and precision of Gauss's approach to mathematics, and this experience ignited a spark of enthusiasm in him that would persist throughout his career. Dedekind's fascination with Gauss was not merely based on his teachings, but also the man himself. He saw in Gauss a mathematician who was not just a teacher, but a mentor, a guide, a torchbearer who illuminated the path of mathematics with his profound insights. This relationship was not one-sided. Gauss, in turn, recognized the potential in the young Dedekind and took him under his wing. Gauss's influence on Dedekind was not confined to the classroom. 
Under his supervision, Dedekind embarked on his doctoral work, immersing himself in the complex world of Eulerian integrals. His thesis on the theory of Eulerian integrals was a testament to the deep understanding he had acquired under Gauss's guidance. This work not only earned Dedekind his doctorate from Göttingen in 1852, but it also marked him as the last pupil of Gauss, a distinction that held a special significance for him. This period under Gauss's tutelage was transformative for Dedekind. He was exposed to the depth and breadth of mathematical thought, and it was here that he began to see the beauty and elegance inherent in the discipline. He also realized that mathematics was not just about solving equations or proving theorems. It was about seeking truth, about striving for clarity and precision, about understanding the fundamental principles that govern the universe. Gauss's influence was profound, and Dedekind was set on a path that would lead him to significant contributions in the field of mathematics. His journey was just beginning, but the impact of these formative years under Gauss's mentorship would resonate throughout his career, shaping his approach to mathematics and his contributions to the field. With a doctorate in hand, Dedekind was ready to make his own mark in the world of mathematics. However, he was not content with just riding on the coattails of his academic achievements. Dedekin recognized the gaps in his mathematical education and sought to fill them. His quest for knowledge led him to Berlin, where the latest mathematical developments were being taught. In Berlin, Dedekind was exposed to a whole new world of mathematical ideas and concepts. This was a pivotal moment in his career as it shaped his future contributions to the field. He didn't just learn about these new developments, he embraced them and incorporated them into his own work. One of Dedekind's major contributions to mathematics was the redefinition of irrational numbers in terms of what is now known as Dedekind cuts. Before Dedekind, the understanding of irrational numbers was somewhat murky, but Dedekind's innovative approach provided a clear and precise definition. He proposed that any real number divides the set of rational numbers into two classes, one greater and one smaller, with the real number being the cut, or division between them. This concept revolutionized the way mathematicians approached and understood irrational numbers. But Dedekind didn't stop there. He was also instrumental in introducing the notion of an ideal in ring theory. An ideal in this context is a subset of a ring, a fundamental structure in abstract algebra that behaves in a certain way under the operations of the ring. This concept has far-reaching implications and is a cornerstone in the study of algebraic number theory. Dedekind's innovative thinking didn't just add new knowledge to the field of mathematics, it also changed the way mathematicians thought about existing concepts. His redefinition of irrational numbers and the introduction of ideals in ring theory were not just groundbreaking, they were paradigm-shifting. Despite the challenges, Dedekind's pursuit of knowledge and his innovative thinking led to groundbreaking contributions in mathematics. Now that we've journeyed through Dedekind's life and work, what is the legacy that he left behind? Richard Dedekind's impact on the field of mathematics is profound and long-lasting. His redefinition of irrational numbers in terms of Dedekind cuts revolutionized our understanding of number theory, setting the groundwork for much of the mathematics we study today. His novel concept of an ideal in ring theory has become a cornerstone in abstract algebra, influencing countless mathematical theories and concepts that followed. Dedekind's ideas continue to be relevant today, not just in the realm of mathematics but in the broader scientific community. His dedication to precision and logical structure has been mirrored in various scientific disciplines, reinforcing the importance of rigorous, systematic approaches to problem solving. But Dedekind's legacy extends beyond his mathematical contributions. His personal life choices, including his decision to remain unmarried and his lifelong companionship with his sister, stand as a testament to the diversity of paths that can lead to scientific discovery. His story challenges conventional notions of what a scientist's life should look like, reminding us that there is no singular path to greatness. Dedekind's unwavering commitment to his work, even in the face of adversity and limited resources, is an inspiring example of perseverance. His ability to innovate and think outside the box, to see beyond the accepted norms and paradigms of his time, paved the way for his groundbreaking contributions. He was a visionary, a trailblazer who dared to venture into uncharted territories of mathematical thought, 
and perhaps most importantly, Datakind's legacy is a testament to the power of curiosity. His insatiable thirst for knowledge, his relentless pursuit of understanding the intricacies of the mathematical world, embodies the essence of scientific inquiry. His work serves as a reminder of the beauty and elegance that lies within the realm of mathematics, and the endless possibilities that await those who dare to explore it. In the end, Richard Dedekind's life and work serve as a testament to the power of curiosity, perseverance, and innovative thinking in the pursuit of knowledge.